Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Fung. Today I'm going to talk about the body set weight, which is sort of like a thermostat for our body fat, adjusting how much body fat we carry, whether it goes up or down, and how the existence of this body fat thermostat really changes everything you know about how to lose weight. Body fat thermostat is what's known as a homeostatic mechanism, and this is a core biological principle of how we as humans, and really all animals, survived on the planet Earth. Because the Earth has very changeable uh, conditions, sometimes it's caught, so, caught, sometimes it's cold, and our bodies have to adapt. So we have mechanisms that automatically change us back to our sort of preferred state. Think about a marble in a bowl, for example. If you push the marble too far to the right, there are automatic mechanisms that bring it back down to the center. And the same if you push it to the left, things will bring it back down. As opposed to a marble on a table, for example, where the position of it depends on how much you push it to the right and how much you push it to the left. It can go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and the position is very variable. As opposed to the bowl where the marble almost always stays dead center. This automatic sort of self-correction is the same as a thermostat. So in our room, for example, we'll put a thermostat and we'll set the temperature to room temperature, for example. If it gets too hot, the thermostat will sense it and then turn on the air conditioning and turn off the heat. So that it automatically sets us to the correct temperature. And that's a homeostatic mechanism. And our, our very existence really depends on that. If we are too hot, we start to sweat and we cool down. If we're too cold, then we start to shiver and then we generate more body heat to warm up. We don't have to consciously think about it. We don't have to say, okay, now I need to sweat. Now I need to shiver. No, it's automatic. Everything goes back because you've set that homeostatic mechanism. And it really applies to so many different things. So if you drink a lot of water, you're gonna pee more. If you drink very little water, you'll pee less. If we eat too much salt, our bodies will get rid of that salt. If we eat too little salt, our bodies will retain salt. If our blood gets too acidic, our bodies will dump the acid. And the same goes for so many different things. In other words, these homeostatic mechanisms are core to our biology. And very importantly, our bodies also have a homeostatic mechanism for the percentage of body fat or the body set weight or what I call the body fat thermostat. So lots of people think that, hey, we're just getting fat because food is easily available. Um, and that doesn't actually make any sense. Because if that was true, then we would have throughout history, lots of morbidly obese people. You think about some of the uh, most famous people in history who had all kinds of access to food. For example, King Louis XV of France. Was he fat? No. Queen Elizabeth II, one of the longest reigning monarchs uh, in England. Was she fat? No. It wasn't simply the availability of food. The thing is that our bodies control how much fat we have because it's very important to our very survival. If we carry too much body fat, then we can't run and a lion will kill us. And we can't hunt because we can't run after the food. So having too much body fat is very bad for us. Having too little body fat is also very bad for us because then if there's a sudden famine, then we wouldn't be able to survive. If we didn't have this sort of automatic self-correcting homeostatic mechanism, our weights would fluctuate wildly because we don't know at any time, one, how many calories we're eating, and nobody knew how many calories they're burning. In fact, most people still don't know because it's very cumbersome to measure it. So we don't know how much is going out and we don't know how much is coming in. Our body weights should fluctuate hugely, but it doesn't. In fact, our body weight, as most people know, is fairly stable. On average, even during this time where we have this huge obesity epidemic, the average weight gain, according to Harvard's nutrition source, is only one pound per year. That is approximately 3,500 calories. If you compare that to the number of calories that we eat, 
on average, Americans and Europeans are eating 3,540 calories per day. So in other words, to only gain one pound per year, we would have to match our calories in, which we don't know, and our calories out, which we also don't know, to a 99.73% accuracy rate. That's simply impossible. So there must be a way that our body automatically adjusts. So why does the existence of this body set weight really change everything about weight loss? Let's think about it this way. Suppose that no thermostat existed, and we're gonna take the example of a room. So the heat that goes into the room and the cooling that goes into the room, you can take those two variables, add them together, and that's gonna give you your room temperature. That is room temperature equals heat in minus heat out, right? And this is entirely analogous to our equation that says body fat equals calories in minus calories out. So in our room, if we want to heat it up, we use, take our portable space heater and we simply increase the amount of heat and that will raise the room temperature. Same thing when we look at the calories example, if we want to gain weight and uh, then all we have to do is eat a little bit more and our weight will go up. If we want to lose weight, we eat a little bit less or we exercise more and our weight will go down. And that's where we get the so-called calories in, calories out, eat less, move more principle. But where it doesn't work is when we start to put in the existence of the thermostat. So let's look at our room temperature, for example. Suppose we have a thermostat now. Now it's set to room temperature. Now we crank up our portable space heater, we increase the amount of heat. Well, heat in minus heat out is room temperature, right? But what happens is that the thermostat senses this increase in temperature from the increase in the setting in the portable space heater, and then it turns on the air conditioner. So you've turned on the heat, you've turned on the air conditioner, the temperature goes back to the original cool state. So the existence of this thermostat has changed everything. Look at our example in our bodies. Now we have a body fat thermostat. As we start to eat less, say we eat 500 fewer calories because we want to lose some body fat. Well, initially, as you lose the body fat, the thermostat is going to sense that. And what is it going to do? Well, it's going to make you regain those lost pounds. So you become hungrier so that you'll eat those 500 calories you're missing. And if that doesn't work, your body will simply shut down its metabolism so that it burns 500 calories less. So now as you eat 500 calories less and your body burns 500 calories less, you still don't lose weight because you didn't adjust the thermostat. In the room, it wasn't about how much heat you're putting in. It was about adjusting that thermostat. In our bodies, it's the same thing. You have to adjust the thermostat and not the calories. So the question is, is this, does this actually happen in real life? In fact, virtually every single scientific study of the last hundred years has shown the existence of this body fat thermostat. So the question is not how many calories you're eating or how many calories you're burning. The question is, are you adjusting your thermostat up or are you adjusting it down? And what controls that? And as I talked about in my book, The Obesity Code, there are certain factors that raise your body fat thermostat. The most important is insulin, but there's also things like cortisol and ghrelin. But there's also hormones that will drive down the body fat thermostat. And those include things like the sympathetic nervous system, GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon, stretch receptors in the stomach, for example. So the existence of this body fat thermostat, which we've known about for decades and decades, is massively important for weight loss because you need to know how to make those adjustments.